June 2006. It's another hot, humid summer in Wilmington, North Carolina. While tourists filled the charming southern town, 34-year-old Allison Jackson Foy is trying to get her life together. She has been living in North Carolina with her two daughters and husband Mike for a year and a half after moving from their home on Long Island. She had told me that Mike wasn't doing well job-wise and that he would do a lot better if they moved down, down south, that there was more call for what, what Mike did. And I says, well, you have to do what is best for you and the family. But as the youngest of four siblings in a close-knit family, the move has been hard on Allison. In addition to leaving her extended family behind, she has also parted with a place that's always been a special refuge for her. Now that she's left all this behind to move to North Carolina, Allison's problems begin to mount. She is fighting an urge to use prescription drugs. And her marriage is failing. She knew her marriage was in crisis, and I know both of them were not happy. With a volatile marriage, the Foy household becomes uncomfortable for the children. Then, Allison is hit with her most painful hardship yet. She loses custody of her oldest daughter, Courtney, who goes to live with her father, Allison's first husband. I know good things were not happening in the house. I know there was a lot of fighting. Um, I think Courtney might have been scared. This is a big blow to Allison. It's a breaking point. In late June, she contacts her sister Lisa in New Jersey for guidance. She said, I need to be around family. Can I please come up and, and visit you? And I said, yeah. She said, well, I have another problem. I have no car. She said, um, my car broke down. I have no way to get up there. So I rented her a car, and she drove up with her daughter, Jordan. It was a great time. We were laughing, having a good time. But I got to say, I sensed that when it was time for her to go, there were tears. And I knew uh, that what she had facing ahead of her was, was, um, was not easy. Two weeks after Allison returns home, Lisa receives a promising phone call from her sister. She had just got a job as assistant manager of uh, the Holiday Inn in Wilmington, and she was ecstatic. It was the happiest that I had heard of her in a long time. She said, I'm doing this. You should see my office. Things are finally looking up for me. Four days after starting her new job, Allison decides to celebrate with her close friend, Chris Williams. He was someone that she'd met in Wilmington who was really almost just a confidant. He's an ex-Marine, and they just got along very well, and he was Allison's sounding board. On this night, the two meet for a few drinks at their favorite hangout, Junction Pub and Billiards. Unbeknownst to Chris, this would be the last time he would see his friend before she disappeared. 